All right, guys. So today, if you watched my Battle Box unboxing video, in one of the Battle Boxes, I got a Fisher Space Pen. And the Fisher Space Pen has a ton of wild claims, all of which we will be testing. It claims that it has waterproof ink. It claims it writes underwater. It claims it writes upside down. It claims that it writes through grease. Uh, it, it also claims that it writes in zero gravity, which if I had a way to test things in zero gravity, I would be making much different videos, so we won't be testing that one. They also claim that it will write when it is frozen and up to 250 degrees. So we're going to be testing all of those claims, and we're going to see if the Fisher Space Pen lives up to the hype. So the first thing that we're going to try to test is the waterproof ink, which is a very easy test. I have a waterproof... Uh, notepad and then we're also going to be comparing the space pen to two other pens one is just going to be a classic like cheap amazon roll uh, ballpoint pen and the other one is going to be a pilot kind of a unique pen honestly a pilot varsity disposable fountain pen so something you don't really see every day and then of course we just have a little uh, tub of water so i'm just going to write something basic with each one We'll just write space pen. The fountain pen writes so nice. Amazon pen. Okay. Let's see how it holds up under the water. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. The fountain pen ink. Just, just washes right away. Seems like the Amazon pen and the space pen both have waterproof inks, it looks like. Honestly, it's minute, but like... Oh, never mind. No, it's not. That was just some extra from the fountain pen. I thought the space pen ink was kind of like rubbing off a little bit. It's just extra from the fountain pen. Okay, so so far the Amazon, Amazon pen and the space pen are kind of on the same page. Both have waterproof inks. Let's see how they how they write underwater. Let's just make some scribbles. Oh wow. <laughs> we got like one little tiny line. Okay. Impressive. The tiniest little line. That line's by like one inch. Space pen? No way. Writing completely underwater. Good, and it's, and it's not just writing underwater, it's writing good underwater. Like actual good thick lines. Wow. Okay. Maybe there's something to this space pen. I didn't think it was gonna be this good. Just for kicks. Let's see if it can write on a normal piece of paper underwater. <laughs> you can write on regular paper too. So you could have regular paper, write like a note or something in the rain, and it should dry and just be fine. I'm actually gonna set this off to the side, and by the end of the video, it should be dry. We'll see how this holds up. Actually, we'll, uh, we'll set both of these off to the side. We'll see how they hold up. So far, I'm impressed. Now, next up, we're gonna see if it writes through grease. Now, they don't say, uh, exactly what kind of grease they just say grease so I got three different types we got red and tacky extra heavy duty and marine grease and we are going to test that on regular paper and the waterproof paper grease honestly brings back like bad memories <laughs> all right heavy duty if you notice, I use a different finger for all these. This marine grease, I'm no, I'm no grease expert. This marine grease is way, way, way softer than the other two. Oh man, we don't need it that thick. Anybody who works on anything knows that grease is like anti-seize, and if you get one drop of grease on your hands, You'll find it in your elbows and your armpits and the crease of your arm behind your ear. You'll find it on doorknobs. You'll find little like traces of grease for weeks anytime you touch it. It's like a it's like a plague that just spreads. 
So let's start off first with the Amazon pen. So we're writing, we're writing. We're still writing through all the grease. That's right, testing. I mean, it's not like really, really good, but it's definitely writing for sure. Yeah, you just wipe it off and it's right back to normal. That's pretty good, in my opinion. So maybe Red and Tacky isn't going to stop an Amazon pen. Oh, wow. The heavy duty grease. It doesn't stop it completely, but it it hurts it a lot. It is. That's basically. The heavy duty grease really. Really slows it down quite a bit. So that's, that's pretty bad. I would be. I would be satisfied with that. I would not be satisfied with that. Wow. The marine grease. <laughs> Nothing. Not a chance. Okay, we're writing fine. Jeez. That's kind of wild. Let's just try to draw a line. Wow. Okay. So... Red and tacky grease, you can write through. These other two, not really. No chance. Now, I really hate to do this to a good fountain pen. I'll go ahead and write fountain pen down here. We know which one's which. Red and tacky. Oh, come on. Oh, it was started started off so good. Okay. Oh no. I think we might be done for. Fountain pens are way more sensitive than like a regular, just a regular pen. Oh, 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 we got some ink back. Oh, 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 we got a little bit, we got a little bit of ink back. Let's see if we can go here. No. <laughs> no shot. Let's see if we can get a little bit of life out of this. Okay, if I press real hard, I can get some ink out of it. <laughs> Not on grease. We're back. We're back again. All right. And of course, no. <laughs> Don't write in grease with your fountain pen. It is uh, not gonna work. Since we can't, can't, couldn't write in it, let's go ahead and just try the uh, space pen, which has has water inside of it. Ironically, red and tacky. I mean. Is it writing? Yeah. Not much more than the regular regular ballpoint pen though. Actually, I would argue maybe less. So if you compare the two, I feel like it's doing a little less. Mm, that's a little, it's a little debatable. Now these other two greases, nothing could write in those. So let's, Not really. I mean, it's making a marking, although that I think is different. Let me just do a little test here. Oh no, that's the same. I was thinking that maybe the cheap uh, Amazon pen, after it was in the grease, couldn't go immediately to writing on regular paper again. It needed to be like wiped off. Uh, it's the same. No. I mean, to be fair, that's a little better than, I mean, I don't know. It's making something. That's better than the other pens did, I guess. What if we like wipe it away? Does the ink wipe away? No, the pen marks are still there. So, what if we go to the cheap fountain, or the cheap uh, Amazon pen? There's nothing there. A little something there. Something's there, but the ink runs. The space pen is a little bit better in grease. 
only because you can write on it, wipe the grease away, and the marks are there. Whereas the other two, that doesn't happen. The, everything just wipes straight away. 5% better. It barely does anything in grease. It does leave something there. And then also, uh, just out of my curiosity, I thought maybe the waterproof paper would make a difference. You can see it does not. The first line is the Fisher Space Pen, and then the Fountain Pen, and then the Amazon Basics Pen. Oh, it just slung water on my face. Anyway, the results are all basically the same. Next test, I gotta lay upside down. Apparently the Space Pen can write upside down and not have any problems. So, I'm just gonna lay on the table. And hopefully, I've built this table strong enough that it doesn't collapse. I'm gonna start with the fountain pen, actually. Because the fountain pen, because I feel like it's gonna die first, or the quickest. I don't know when you would need to do this. Seems kinda... How many people are writing upside down? Like, what do you, like, are they making this for like bats? Like they're gonna write while they sleep? We made it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like seven and three quarter lines of screws. I don't know how well you can see that. That's actually quite a bit of writing because like how much writing are you trying to do while you're upside down? Next we'll start with the Amazon. Literally after one line, I can see it already starting to fade. Like one and one quarter lines faded. How quickly does it come back from that? Is it dead for good? Oh, there we go. Now we're, now we're back. So definitely don't write with that upside down. So now for the space pen. I'm just gonna, with the space pen, I'm just gonna assume that if I can do a whole page, that it's good. I think after a whole page, we can assume that it'll go on forever. All right, I did it. I've gone where no man has gone before. I scribbled the entire page. Top to bottom, scribbles. And it, it did great. It didn't fade, it didn't, um, no variation in lines, nothing. So this, uh, this definitely, definitely passes the scribble test. So I've been very impressed with the space pen so far. So now what we're gonna do is put all three of these into the freezer for, I think I'm gonna go three hours, and then we'll see if they still work. So, it's been about four hours, all the pens are out of the freezer. I'm gonna try the space pen first, because I don't want it to get a chance to warm up. It works. Or just right testing. Space pen. It does feel like there is more resistance, though. I'm assuming that's because the ink has like thickened up. Next, let's go Amazon Basics. Surprisingly, it works too. We'll write Amazon. And actually, it feels very, honestly, smooth. Smoother than the Space Pen. So I guess maybe whatever type of ink they use in here, maybe it doesn't freeze or maybe Maybe like five hours wasn't enough, or four hours wasn't enough for it to freeze. Fountain pen. Now I know the fountain pen uses water-based ink, or at least I'm pretty sure because it washed right off in water. It works too. That's crazy. If any of them were gonna fail, I would have 100,000% thought it was going to be the fountain pen because the ink is so, so much thinner. Although you can see, kind of, you can see the ink kind of like linking on, leaking out of the nib. I'm assuming that is because when it got cold, it's like expanding or something. But as far as writing, it's still doing perfect. That is crazy. Maybe a fountain pen is a little bit more uh, durable than I thought. So now we are going to go to the other side of the spectrum. We went cold. 
So the space pen claims that it can go up to 250 degrees. So I'm going to heat the oven up to 245 degrees. So we have a little five degree little variance there. Leave it in there for about an hour and then, then we'll see if it writes. And just because I know you guys want to see it, I'm also going to put these two in there. I'm sure these are probably going to melt, but we'll put them in there anyway. The oven is hot. <clears throat> uh, hopefully mom doesn't get mad that I'm using uh, the good pan to cook some pens in the oven. See you in an hour. I'm going to go ahead and make a prediction. Since 250 degrees doesn't really feel that hot, I'm going to make a prediction that I don't think really anything's going to happen. But we'll see. All right, so it's been maybe 15 minutes, and I just heard <laughs> a pop. And you can see that the fountain pen has exploded. And the Amazon pen is not looking so hot. Maybe I'll let them go. Oh, wow, look at all that ink over there. Maybe I'll let it go for another five minutes, maybe, and then we'll test it. All right, hot pins coming right out of the oven. I did not expect that uh, fountain pen to explode like that. Mmm. Yeah, that's hot. Why wouldn't it be hot? Right with this somehow. Oh. So the barrel. Actually, you know, let's let's focus on this. Oh, that's gonna be so hot. Come on. It's not clicking anymore. I think the ink cartridge has messed up. The tip of it is showing. Oh, man, that's hot. Oh, look at that! It still writes! Now why is the... It's actually starting to cool down a little bit. The like spring mechanism or something is like warped from the heat. But... It's still hot. It's too... You can kind of grab it, but it's a little too hot to hold. But the ink cartridge itself still writes and there's nothing wrong with that at all that's impressive for sure let's try okay this is this is cooled down i bet this one still works even though it's like warped oh look at that okay maybe 250 degrees is not like uh not like a huge deal it is obviously for the fountain pen because it'll explode but a regular pen still writes this still writes I'd like to know what what it is that's all messed up in here. I think there's plastic inside the cap. Is it as durable as they say it is? Yes. The only thing that this, in my opinion, doesn't really live up to that they claim is the writing through grease. That was a little bit disappointing. I don't know exactly how they tested that. Uh, maybe they used a different type of grease or something. But other than that, it lives up to everything. I'm a little disappointed that the case uh, couldn't withstand the 250 degrees and that something, you know, melted in here or whatever. That's dis and on one hand, that's disappointing. On the other hand, uh, where are you going to be that is 250 degrees where you need uh, your pen for 30 minutes? On the other hand, the cartridge is still fine. So this is the important part. This is the writing part. And this is, this is what is living up to their claims. Amazon Basics pen, granted, obviously, <laughs> is not really that good in the heat, but it, it actually performs amazing. And it holds up, it, it can hold a candle to the Fisher Space Pen for the most part. It does most things that it does. But yeah, I think this thing is actually pretty good. Uh, if you need a pen that is gonna like, just be, that is gonna just go through almost anything with you, and you have to write something, like in it, say, a, like a survival pen or something, I think a Fisher Space Pen would be a good option. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed all these tests. Leave me know in the comments below, do you have any experience with Fisher Space Pens? Uh, do you have a specific pen that is your favorite? Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.